Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. How's everyone doing? It's so good to see everyone again. Yeah, yeah good it's, awesome. it's, it's good to see you. Janet, I want to ask you to start. I mean, what is it like? seeing the scripts for season three for the first time, knowing that you've kind of gone on for two seasons of all this kind of relationships and everything. And like with your parents and everything, what is that like seeing the script specifically? Um, I think that it was, it was very engaging. Like this season by far, I loved all the past season, but this one has to be probably my favorite. Um, this one has been really, really fun to shoot. And, um, I think that I've learned the show's humor by now, so I I can get the jokes, and it's just it's overall like really funny. Absolutely, no, it's it's it is it, it's really interesting. I mean, it's one of those shows too where you know you put it on the background, but also you want to pay attention because some of the jokes you kind of might miss stuff if you don't pay attention, right? Like it's one yeah. of those. Lacey, now three seasons now playing Harper. Do you feel like you have a grasp of this character? Do you feel like you're still learning about this character as you go? I love Harper. I feel like I do have a grasp on Harper. Um, I know what she would do, what she wouldn't do, what she wear, what she wouldn't wear, you know, how she talks and pops her little phrases off. And um, we've been having a great time, like, playing and growing these characters all together. For sure. Nathan, you've been playing Freddie Benson for a good amount of time now. And I just want to know, do you have an ultimate favorite Freddie Benson moment? Or has that yet to come? Hmm. Well, look, <laughs> this season's this season's got a lot of good Freddy moments, and like you know, obviously, I can't tell you about any of them. But <laughs> there's uh, what there's past ones? not well, I mean, there's good past ones too. Yeah, well, there's tons like, of Freddy Benson. Moments. I would say peak Freddy was walking in in the first season, the first time you see him in a fedora. All I'm <laughs> saying is you can't really over freddy past that point like that's the new bar however there's a new fedora this season and it's actually kind of great i i would consider maybe uh maybe wearing that in public i'm not sure if that meets i don't know how Ooh, that would be okay no i would be wearing it in in public um but yeah gosh oh i there's like not that much i can say i all i know is as as an actor and as a uh, a fan of this character who is um really invested in him i think people are going to be very happy with what you get to see this season and i told you this last time we spoke i mean i'm gonna say it again iconic character i just gotta say that. <laughs> thank you jane i wanted to ask you do you have a favorite character in iCarly specifically that you really enjoy storyline wise mm. i'm just curious about that oh <laughs> um that's a very difficult question um I feel like all of their storylines are extremely interesting. Like, oh, they, no. oh, oh come no, on. no, come on, give, give us the dirt. Probably, it, it it's a tie between Jerry and Lacey's storyline. To be honest, I knew I was gonna be in there. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, it, <laughs> Team Harper. Team Harper. Interesting. interesting. Yes, I'm on Team. I'm on. Understand. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm on Team Harper. I'm just saying. Thank you. Yes, we're gonna Jerry and I, or Spencer and Harper, have some very fun uh, adventures this season that I think you will be shocked by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Nathan. Is it also cool to see you know the consistency of kind of the love that Freddie Benson has gone over the years? Basically, the original series and this series, like it's pretty cool to say like Freddie Benson's not going anywhere, right? You know what I mean. (laughs) No, I, yeah, I think he's, um, I think it's been fun to see, you know, he hasn't gone anywhere, but he's a very different person from how he was in the first show. And obviously a lot of life has happened to him in the gap between the old show and the new show. Um, and now those changes are happening at warp speed for him (laughs) as a character. Um, and, and he's not, he's not the same in the third season as he was even in the first. And that's been really, really fun. You know, you don't really get a lot of opportunities sometimes to do that on a, a multi-camera sitcom, but like there's a real serious arc and it's been very fun as an actor to dig into that and really have some some fun moments to to stretch and work with people who I love and I trust and, you know, working with Miranda side by side on what 
uh, what we feel like the fans really might want to see um, has just been such a blast this season creatively. Totally. Season three premiering on Paramount Plus June 1st. Thank you all for your time. It was so great catching up. Yeah, yes. you too, man. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.